In our previous two videos on SQL, we were working with select queries. In other words, extracting only a certain data set that uh, adhered to a set of conditions from a table or even more than one table. We will do more than one table soon. Now we want to create a query that changes the table. So the first one would be to insert a record. And the command is insert into, then the table name, and then in brackets the fields those fields that you want to enter values for so you don't have to enter all the fields but you must here put the names of the fields for which you are going to enter values so let's look at our table and I would like to add an artist a CD name and a genre I think the one that's not here is of course classic so let's go to our query and we will write the following query insert into CD table so that's the table name then the field names for which I'm going to add values close the brackets then values and now you put values Joshua Bell is the artist Bell plays Bach is the CD name and classic is the genre notice that I want to run this query it's not good enough to view it because that hasn't changed my table at all yet so double click on your query go back to views and your SQL view and you will see that this exclamation mark appears the run that's what we must do with an update or a query that changes the table so click on run and it will warn you and you must be careful always keep a backup of your database before you run update queries or changing queries because you are permanently changing your database or your table so it says here the insert into statement contains the following unknown field name CD name oh I must check that did I put CD name down incorrectly let's go and have a look in that table it's CD underscore name so that's fine we can change that CD underscore name run our query again click on run now you are about to append one row once you click yes you can't use the undo command this is a database you can't use undo in the database to reverse these changes so are you sure yes we are sure it'll be easy to check I must just refresh my CD table at the moment it's not there but let's refresh it and quickly scroll down and see if we find a classic genre oh and I can't find it so let's go and look for it so I go back to my query into uh, SQL view and I'm going to say now let's cut that one so that I can get back to it so I say select genre from CD table where genre equals classic run it and there seems to be one so let's change it again just to get all the others so not only genre but let's say star all the fields from table where genre equals classic and there it is Joshua Bell Bell plays Bach classic and the other values are empty so now we can do queries with the null condition to check which fields have a null value and replacement value definitely has a null value at the moment by the way, note this field, never insert an auto number field. That will mess it up. So only list the fields that you are adding. That's what we've done now. You only list the fields for which you're going to add these values. It's time to delete a, a record from a table, but you must know that this is permanent, so be careful. This is the structure. Delete from the table where and my condition. So we could go and delete our Joshua Bell addition that we've just made let's go and look so we've got Joshua Bell in there and in our SQL we view we know that genre is classic so let's change this delete all from CD table where now the clause of what we want to delete where well, let's make a genre equals classic see what happens if we run this it warns us you're going to delete the number of records well, let's say no for a moment just go and check on our CD table how many records we have we have 251 records so if we delete one then it'll only be 250 let's run our query view SQL view and run it yes we are okay there's no indication that it ran but let's go and check if I refresh this then we suddenly only have 250 again and Joshua Bell is gone an update query is the last one where we take an existing record that's already in our table and we change its field values 
So the structure is set. The field that I want to update and its value, the next field and its value, and then where my condition. So here's an example, update table CD, set genre to pop where title equals Joshua Tree and artist equals U2. So the structure is fairly simple. We set the field names. Well, firstly, you start with update. Update the table, set the field names, and then the where condition. So our update query that we are going to create, we'll have to take one of these fields and change it. Now, you'll have to forgive me. I know nothing about the music that's listed here. So let's choose this one at random. The artist is Brandy, and the CD name is Aphrodisiac, and it's a genre of R&B. So because I know nothing of it, let's change the R&B genre to rock. So our query will look as follows. Go to the query. So I've written the query, update CD table, and set genre to rock where the artist is Brandy. And we can see there it sticks out underneath the generic query. And let's run this and see what happens. Aha, it warns us, you're about to update three rows. Now, I had no intention of updating three rows. I wanted to update only one row. So let's say no, go back and improve our condition. So perhaps we should say, and CD name is aphrodisiac. So let's do that. And CD name equals aphrodisiac. And see what it does now. I want to update only one of them. View, SQL view, we have the run command. You are about to update one row. That's fine. That's what I want to do. Okay, so back to CD table to check. This one, aphrodisiac, should now be rock. And it used to be RMB.